Hey guys, Tiju22 here, and we're back for our second and what will be our official final episode. There is one thing I will show you guys. There's this thing called Super Worlds. Oh yeah, and this entire Let's Play has been brought to you predominantly by the Gaming Odyssey. Uh, do check out the other members in what they are doing. They are very awesome. From Tan Man to Fries to... Uh, Sonic Crafter King. Uh, who else? Uh, John. Iron Smasher. Uh, Edgar. Uh, those are just some of the names I can think of off the top of my head. I mean, we also had former members like Mario Rock, Jacoy, and Mr. Toad the Gamer. But, of course, you also have your boy. Now, oh, And the thing about these uh, levels, really... Ooh. I, wonder, I might play this a little bit. But anyway, what these worlds are... They added something new. Which was... You can create your own world. Which is kind of like essentially building your own game. With your levels that you go with it. I've seen some that are so innovative to the point where... Um... Again, I forgot the guy's name. Uh, I'll be sure to link him in the description, uh, as well as the, that one video that he shared with me. Well, he didn't share with me personally. It's just that he um, he uh, displayed a guy who already made it, is what I was trying to get at. And let's see. But basically, you create your own essentially your own game really and of course you have there's the codes up there if you want the individual levels if you wanted but I'll share this with you so it looks like this was borrowing inspiration from that of Kirby which I thought that was pretty cool so this one's less of a challenge and more of exploration in that if you explore you'll get more out of this than you probably would Like, you can go down, probably take the easy path, or you can go up, and take a more challenging path. But then again, that's kind of the, uh, the makeup of many Kirby games. Although, how you get up there is... Actually, I think... Well, that was kind of stupid. Okay, well, let's try that again right there. Although I do like the post that some are, are, you know, that some of, that some people do, and that's like, wow. Oh, wow. Yep. Okay, well, there's the, uh, the flag, so I don't have to go all the way back. Hmm. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a way you can get up there. I just don't know it. But thankfully, you're not required to get it. But I can get this one. There we go. I think I've seen this uh, particular level somewhere. I think um, Odyssey Central might have made this one. I'm not sure. If he did, I mean, it's a great job on his part. But that one was pretty good. So, yeah, like I said, in addition to the levels, I mean, you can essentially create your own version of uh, Super Mario World. And what I also like about it is that you're not confined to just one game style, meaning you're not just, you don't have to do just uh, New Super Mario Brothers style, you can also do, um, oh, what is this? 
match and win. Oh, I see. It's just like um, Super Mario Brothers 3. Oh, well, that was a mess up. Yeah, that was bad. That was worthless. But yeah, that's pretty cool that you can make a, your own world. It's just so cool. And like I said, you can go between different styles. Like, we were just in New Super Mario Brothers, and now we're in Super Mario Brothers 3 style. And I just like playing as Toad, but you can also play as uh, Toadette, Luigi, and of course, Mario. I mean, there's... I mean, come on. I mean, he is a man, after all. Also kind of cool that you can make all sorts of things here. Okay. Thankfully I could go up this way. And of course, the mechanics of each game, especially when you're, you're playing uh, Super Mario Bros. 1, is a lot different than that of every subsequent um, iteration. As that, you can do more things in Super Mario Bros. 3 that you couldn't do in the original, among other things. Ooh, gotta be careful here. But one of the things I did see, and I may as well point that out, is someone made a 2D rendition of Super Mario 64. And I was like, wow! And, of course, if you had... Of course, you can never understand it until you actually had... Unless you had the game, which I did. I remember back in... Um, I remember I first got it in 1997. Um, okay, I'm not even going to bother with that... Um, that coin. Oh, and also watch out for the file bowls. And of course, if you build up enough uh, speed, then you can fly, which I kind of find is pretty cool. Alright, so... Trolls live under the bridge. Oh yeah, and you can also kill the piranha plants with your tail, in case you didn't know. Alright, that one was pretty good. I'll show off one more, and then uh, we'll, we'll, we'll move on. But... Yeah, I mean that was that was more fun than that than it was challenging. Sometimes fun is better than to be challenging. I mean, of course you want to have a challenge from time to time. But that, you know, like after a challenging level, you want a, a fun level, you know, to at least appreciate the fact that you went through hell to get through that particular level uh to get to the fun level. Kind of like what happened with um you know, Level 7 of World 9 in Super Mario Bro New Super Mario Brothers Wii. I just thought that was a, a, a clever idea to, you know, incorporate something like that. Alright, so now we're in uh, Super Mario World style. Okay. Ooh, a mushroom and Yoshi. And another thing about Yoshi is that, you know, Yoshi's not available in the first... Uh, to game iterations because, well, you didn't exist back then. Which, I know, that's kind of mean, but, you know. And, of course, he doesn't have his flutter jump because that this game preceded that uh, motion. So you have to know your uh, play style in addition to the, the art style and everything like that. Alright, that was pretty cool. Oh! There's actually something up here. Okay, I do want to get up there. Hmm, this might be a bonus area. I like how they, you know, reward you for looking for bonuses and stuff like that. Oh, that was a, a that was a three up moon. Pretty cool.
Oh, and all that was just for some coins. Oh, I see. Okay, I see the illusion of what they did. Okay. But I also like, like I said, I like how they incorporated the art style of um, what Toad would have looked like in Super Mario Brothers, or Super Mario World, excuse me. So I thought that was pretty cool that they did that. Okay, there we go. Now we can move on. Oh, nice. Let's see. Is there anything? Nope, there's nothing up there. Okay. Okay, gotta be careful here with this jump. That's kind of thing, the thing about these ones, is you gotta be careful. Okay, well there's another Yoshi in case you need him. Hmm. Do I need to get him up here? No, I don't. And, well, that was... Well, thankfully I don't need to complete the level, but I just wanted to show you that. Oh, no, wait. Never mind. Well, there he is, up there. Okay, let's try that one more time. Alright, well, okay, this is not too bad. There we go, we got it. <laughs> Incredible. Okay, well, I guess I didn't have to quit, thankfully. Wow. All right. Well, let me exit out here. But that was kind of fun, though. That was that was very very fun. But yeah, you can. In addition to making levels, you can make your own world, which again I just found was really cool. Uh, that was something that was recently added. Among other things, they also added pom pom. They also added uh, the Koopalings, and I think that's really all they 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 added in terms of who they got. But still, that was pretty cool that they added those things. Um, but, with that said, that is officially it. The final episode of Super Mario Maker 2. I still love this game just to play it for fun. That's what I like about it, is that it's fun. It's not something that you play to try to beat once and never play it again. No, it's, it's one of those games that you play just for absolute fun. And that's what I like about it. And plus, it's always fun to play with um, my 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 two my two nephews. I mean, they're, they're really my only nephews, but they've enjoyed this game, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. This is Deju22 signing off officially, and I'll see you next time for whatever my next Let's Play will be. I'll talk to John and the others, and we'll see what happens. But until then, have a great one, everybody.